Here you're back in the fantasy bar. What a game last night, Chiefs and Eagles. But we are back talking some NBA. You probably have a hangover from last night. So let's go happy hour here to draw you back into the bar. Six guys for you for the NBA. All 8K or below. We got a couple guys under 5,000. Some guys taking advantage of opportunities. We got some good matchups here. And a beast of the night I think is going to smash. Who are we talking about? Belly up to the fantasy bar and find out. Welcome in, guys. Monday edition Beers Daily Fantasy Six Pack. Thank you so much for hanging out here in the Fantasy Bar. We're going happy hour. Try to save you some money, some bang for your buck. Make that lineup building easy as you shake off the cobwebs from a huge game last night. Congrats to the Kansas City Chiefs on taking down the big game. But we're here to talk NBA. Big slate of games. A lot of injuries to parse through. If anything ever gets adjusted here, we will do it in the comment section of the video. Before we get into the plays, take a second, click that thumbs up button. Greatly appreciate that. Subscribe to the channel as well. Hopefully you didn't miss out on my pints and picks videos. Gave you another two winners last night with the over and some Kenneth Gainwell props 21 and four run on those videos. And who knows, maybe we'll get some NBA pints and picks videos down the line. But we're here to talk daily fantasy, DraftKings and FanDuel. Thank you again for stopping by. All right, let's get into it here. Let's start at point guard shooting guard with Devontae Graham of the Spurs. So Graham comes over and instantly steps into a big role here, and there's plenty of opportunity with this San Antonio team. We know that. A team that is absolutely tanking, rebuilding, and dealing with a ton of injuries. So far, we know Devin Vassell going to miss once again. Trey Jones going to be out once again. Romeo Langford also out for San Antonio. Also, some questionable tags out there. So plenty of guard minutes available here with all of those guys out. And Graham has stepped in and taken advantage. Averaging over 30 minutes per game, almost 35 DraftKings points a game. His first two here with the Spurs. Very difficult matchup, no doubt. And this matchup, not ideal, but this guy with a lot of upside, a lot of talent, wants to show the league what he's got here. Very, very cheap. I think he gets there pretty easily here tonight. Devontae Graham playable in all formats, even in a tough matchup with the Cleveland Cavaliers. All right, let's go to the other side of this game at Power Forward Center with Jared Allen. Now, the first thing you're thinking, huge spread here, blowout concerns, yada, yada, yada. All it's going to do is help keep the ownership lower than it should be. If you look at a lot of the games, even the games where the Cavs roll with it, Allen still has had some big games. So if they put up a massive score in three quarters, he's likely a big part of it here. Six double-doubles for him over the last seven, 34 or more DraftKings points in every single one of those games. So you feel good about that as a cash game floor. We know the ceiling is there for this guy with his ability to rack up those double doubles, the blocks, and this matchup absolutely should crush Spurs. Third most fantasy points allowed to the center position. Let the blowout concerns be a concern for somebody else. Too good of a matchup to ignore here and a cheap price under 7K on DraftKings. All right, let's stay in the mid range at small forward power forward with Cameron Johnson of the Nets. So another guy, new home, new place, and taking advantage. Steps into the starting lineup here for the Nets. No Kyrie, no Kevin Durant. There's going to be plenty of opportunity here for this Nets team. And Johnson, at these prices, I think is really going to be the guy that benefits the most. 32 DraftKings points in his debut. And that was despite 4 of 13 shooting. So he gets the shooting going. We're talking about a guy that can easily eclipse 40 fantasy points with his ability to touch all of the categories on the stat sheet. Knicks have really struggled with small forwards, specifically second most fantasy points allowed to this position. And Cameron Johnson really going to spread his wings here in this opportunity. The Nets buy low while you can on these cheap prices near 5K. All right, power forward center up next with PJ Washington of the Hornets. So I always get the question, are these cash game plays or these GPP plays? I try to give you guys that you can play in as many formats as possible. Try to make it as easy as possible on most people. And Washington certainly checks that box for us, giving us that nice cash floor that we can bank on. We know there's a lot of upside here with PJ Washington. Massive total in this game as well. Almost 240 on this total. The scoring in the NBA, absolutely crazy. Also, both of these teams top 10 in the league in pace. So it should be an up and down game. He's the kind of big that can really get up and down the floor. So it should thrive in this environment here. And Atlanta, only the Spurs have allowed more fantasy points to the power forward position. Not good when you're being compared to the San Antonio Spurs. P.J. Washington in a smash spot here tonight against the Atlanta Hawks. All right, up next, point guard, shooting guard, 
Colin Sexton of the Jazz. So the theme kind of continues here. Guys that showed a lot of talent coming into the league, kind of got forgotten about and getting a new life. And that certainly describes Colin Sexton here. Mike Conley shipped off to Minnesota and he's stepped in as that starting point guard and been phenomenal. 30 or more minutes in every one of those games, averaging over 35 DraftKings points as well. Another guy that can get there in a variety of ways, but can really score the basketball as well at that point guard position. Another game, I think it's gonna be very up and down, top 12 for both of these teams in pace, huge 237 point total. I know the, the salary has come up. That's gonna scare some people away, jump 1200 on DraftKings, but he's even been vastly outproducing this salary. So it didn't jump enough in my opinion, probably should be in the 6K, still a great buy low here. Colin Sexton, a lot of upside at these low $5,000 price points. All right, it's time. You take a look at my favorite play for Monday night in the NBA. Before we do that, let's run it back on our Beast of the Night contest. Very easy to play. All you got to do, get in the comment section right below the video and guess fantasy points on DraftKings for my Beast of the Night. The closest guest wins themselves a free week of Roto Grinders Premium. All right, let's wrap this baby up. My favorite play for Monday night, you know Mass, the Beast of the Night. All right, beast time. We're going to spend a little bit of money here, but we're going to keep it under our 8K threshold to make life easy on you here tonight. We are rolling with shooting guard, small forward Brandon Ingram of New Orleans, tonight's beast of the night. So this New Orleans offense really running through Ingram lately, and it's not just the scoring. The assists have really been there for him as well. Without Zion Williamson, CJ McCollum once again questionable here tonight. So if he's out, really love Ingram. Even if McCollum's back, Still really like this play a lot with Brandon Ingram. Only twice over the last 12 has this guy dipped under 35 DraftKings points. So again, gives you that cash game floor that you're looking for. And the upside is shown in the last four games, averaging over 45 DraftKings points in that stretch. Yet another game here, close spread, two and a half on this one. Big total, 236 and a half. And both of these teams in the top half of the league in pace should be up and down here. I don't hate the pairing of Ingram and SGA. I always love these star pairings here in a game like this. But Brandon Ingram, to me, too cheap. Good matchup. Nice game environment. My favorite play on the board and tonight's beast of the night. All right, guys, that'll wrap us up here for Monday night in the Fantasy Bar. Talking some NBA. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback, hit me up in that comment section right below the video. Don't forget, fantasy points for Brandon Ingram on DraftKings for your shot at some free. Roto Grinders Premium for RotoGrinders.com. I am Beer saying salut, guys. Best of luck on the slate tonight. Thank you so much for watching. We'll take tomorrow off. Be back with more NBA on Wednesday. Good luck. Go win some money, and we'll see you on Wednesday. Hey, thanks for checking out our videos. If you want more expert advice on DraftKings, FanDuel, or any other daily fantasy sports, make sure you check out the current videos playlist.